kindly sit down. Thank you for your courtesy. Senator Cynthia Villar, ma'am, our birthday celebrant for today, and my good friend, my former speaker on the 11th Congress, Manny Villar and his family. <laughs> Public Works uh, Highway Secretary, Mark Villar. One of the performers in my cabinet. and the other members of the cabinet, invited guests, mga kababayan ko. I would like to take this opportunity to first greet Senator Villar, Manny, my speaker on his birthday. It is indeed an occasion to celebrate not only his natal day, but also his meaningful contribution to our nation's overall advancement. Senator Villar is truly an epitome of diligence and hard work. Coming from a poor family, Senator Villar used his hardships as an inspiration to push through and persevere. I recognize his admirable determination to become what he is today, despite of his humble beginnings. Nakakatuwa nga talaga ang istorya niya. Indeed, his sipag at tiyaga. Dapat ang ito ang sala. Sana ang ginamit ko, sipag at tiyaga. Eh, nagkamali kasi yung mga PR ko, DDS, <laughs> Double Death Squad. <laughs> Indeed, this sipag at yaga should remain a guidepost for every Filipino in reaching and realizing his aspirations in life. Let us em emulate his traits so that we may also succeed as millionaires like him, a billionaire, na succeed in his respective interest and pursuits. Uh, you know, lahat dito sa mundo, it's destiny. Manny Villar is destined to be a billionaire and a public servant, and a splendid one at that. Uh, his gift to the nation is the example that has given us that if you have the tiyaga at sipag, it not, might be in the other dimensions of life, pero definitely uh, you'll have success. Me, my presidency is uh, a gift from God. And my gift to the Filipino people. Baka kung makulong ako, then my gift to you is my freedom. And if I have to go to jail for killing these idiots, I will do it. And it's gonna be so be it. The unveiling of the markers and the blessing of Las Piñas Drug Abuse Treatment and Rehabilitation Center and the Mela Hotel are once again a testament to his continued efforts to uplift the lives of many Filipinos. Sa totoo lang, I, I welcome investments, not desperately trying to showcase a place where there are tall buildings or uh, a modern one or a crowded Greater Manila area. Ang habol ko lang talaga dyan, sa totoo lang, except for the taxes, which are really minimal, is yung trabaho ng Pilipino. Yan lang ang inahabol ko. I, I don't go for uh, that uh, one day I'd see Manila bustling with 
tall building, skyscraper, nothing of that sort. Ang tanging ano ko lang, with my short stint as a, I only have three years, two years left, is really na makapagtrabaho lang ang Pilipino. It is not the time to be dreaming of grandiose achievements kasi mahirap lang tayo. Uh, we do not have the money, actually, uh, so that we need investments. And uh, may I also just would like to text, uh, with you take something about oil. Everything that you see here is oil. The floor that you are stepping on is oil. The thing in front of me is oil. Yung sige, kuha ng camera diyan. Not, not himself, but the, the, the camera is, is oil. Everything. The shoes. Because uh, they are made of machines. And it's always empowered or powered with oil. Hindi pa panahon ng mga itong innovations sa uh, bago. Kulang pa ang solar. It has yet to be perfected. There's a lot of it, uh, I know, but uh, we have not reached the apex of our innovation on that particular field. So, tayo, Pilipinas, we are uh, the ones that, uh, I'm not questioning God, but right after the war, Second World War, that's about the time where we were born, ako. Uh, every nation uh, that were uh, involved in the Second World War started to rehabilitate. And the first thing that they did was really to go after uh, the natural resources. You know, in Asia, the first to struck oil was Indonesia, and then Malaysia, and Brunei. But I do not know what happened along the way, since we occupy the same trench, uh, the, the big one, uh, the, and even our continental shelves inside, uh, under the bed of uh, the, the, the high seas. Pareho pareho lang man ang pictures, and yet uh, we were not given by God oil. So every time there is an oil increase, lahat yan, two weeks after, 15 days after, the prices of everything follow suit. Kaya kung paski na patay ninyo ako, sunugin ninyo yung Congress, wala talaga tayong magawa. Because we are dependent on oil. And we do not have the buffer stock na reserva Nasabihin natin, huwag nanit ng gamitin ito. This is a reserve. Just in case there's trouble, world war again, or what? You have the stock to move your country. Eh, ang problema tayo, wala. We have an inventory. I know, 45 days, maybe more. Ganun din. And rice. We have lost the arable lands. In Mindanao, the landowners there, who were the first to be given large tracts of lands during the Spanish and the American uh, periods, sila yung binigay na, yung, yung homestead na yan. That's an American invention. That's the homestead of America. It, they, they patterned our uh, distribution of lands. Pian noon po, hindi kang kumuha na 7 hectares, 24 if you are a corporation. But along the way, they forgot that there was also the Adam and Eve of Mindanao. Well, the Visayans were called Subbuanon. It's not really Cebuano. The originals would say, Takasanka, Subbu. Then the Hiligaynons. Then you have the Maranaos. Then you have the Tausog and everything. But 80 years before the Spaniards came, in 1521 or 22, dumating si Magellan. Nagkalat ang gago dito. 
hindi naman niya lupa ito, akin ito, akin ito. Kaya nagalit sila pula po. Was actually a Muslim. Kaya tinaga talaga siya. <laughs> ganun, ganun. Those are the nuances of uh, colonialism. And for a part, the latest stroke was is the return of the Balangiga Bell. Now, let me be very clear on this. Here and now, the credit of the return of the Balangiga does not belong to any worker or officials of government. The return of the bells were upon the demand of the Filipino people. Nobody but nobody should ever claim success for that. It was a property of uh, may pare dito wala na pare sir the priest here hulo kita dito sa state wala na no, no, obispo ka well it's a property of the catholic faith the roman catholic faith but I'd like uh, to order the protocol now. Ngayon lang pumasok sa isip ko. Uh, there's going to be a high mass. I will not be there. I will just float uh, along the coastal shores of uh, summer. And when we are ready to take note uh, Wala kayo nito, no? Huwag na lang muna kayo mag-anig. Mag-usap-usap lang muna kayo dyan. Uh, it's going to be like this. The American government will give it back to me. Then I will give it to the local executives. And the local executives will turn it over to its rightful owner, the people of Balinag Baliniga and uh, yung pare doon. Kanila yun. So hanggang dito lang ako. I do not want to hear the mass. I have heard all the masses in the world. You know, in, so, you know graduate ng Ateneo. Diba? Every Friday, since kindergarten yan, you go to confession. Putang ina, baski na. Oh, oh, oh. High school, what are your sins, my son? Alam mo na kung ano ginagawa ninyo kay mga lalaki. Ah, 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 it's not a sin. Come on, boy. Tell me about your sins. I, I, I went to the... To the what? To the... <clears throat> to the rooms of the to, to the maids uh, uh, and I, I oh what I I I I, I, I lifted the blanket wow that's bad why because I wanted to see what's inside it Oh, and the idiot was fondling us. Uh. Kaya nung wala um, asirat na kong. And after that, we went back to your home. No, I, I, I went somewhere else. Oh, where? To, to the bathroom. <laughs> huh? What did you do there? Uh, same as last week, whatever, the, the one I confessed. Oh, I do not remember you confessing anything. Oh, what's that? Wag na kay magalit si Ma'am Cynthia. 
This DATRC will definitely help hundreds of drug dependents from the southern part of Metro Manila and in nearby provinces such as Cavite. Let me repeat it again for all. Do not go into drugs. Because if you do that, I will kill you. If you destroy our children, then I'll just have to kill you. I do not take anything back. I state it with more clarity every time. Do not quit my country. Alam mo ang social dysfunction. Madali yan. Mate, sir, can I have a longer time? Because I just want you, because I might have an extra diesel, extra diesel. That's bullshit. Alam mo, itong mga human rights. Look at Duterte. They go everywhere. 700 para sa time of the what time of the say ano magsin tay woman of the century ano inyo na ako simply lang ako I'm a worker of government and I work for the people the long and short of my oath is I have to protect the people of the Republic of the Philippines. And I have to preserve the nation. Wala na. Kaya pagka pumasok ka dyan, and even if I'm the only one trying to answer or to justify my actuations, I will do it. As I have said, even if it would cost my freedom, I will go to prison. The presidency is a gift from God and my gift to the Filipino people would be my freedom if I have to go to jail. So, again, be it. Mas mabuti ang klaro tayo dyan. Ang pinakamalaan nyo, 20,000 deaths? But okay. It doesn't say where did it happen, what actually happened, how did it happen, when, uh, where. Wala. Basta, nakalistar niyang bulagta, extra diesel killing. Maybe the 4,100 plus, sabi ng police, they killed, uh, they, they, they were killed because they offered to resist violently then I take full responsibility for it. Sabi ko sa police, sa military, magtrabaho lang kayo. And if it is done in accordance with the rules of law, and there is the only one. There are two, in, of course, it's one chapter, but if it is in self-defense, in the performance of a duty, you, you, you think that you lose your, not only your pants, but your life. Then you have to kill. Go ahead. Then in defense of a relative or in an attack in a drugista or a stranger being killed, you know, hold up because he was on para pandruga. Then go ahead. It will be my pleasure to see dead criminals. Wala tayong nutal. I do not apologize for it. I offer no explanation. I'm just stating the law as it is. So, yan. Kaya well, napapasalamat ako kasi yung aabot dyan sa DATC, mag-ano kayo because maybe it might help you. Pero ako... I love my country and I will do everything to see to it that my country survives. Alam mo bakit? 
Okay. I'll give you an example. Binaril yung putang ina na yan. Kabulag ta dyan. Lista ka. One day. Anong give na wala nito? You want your enemies to suffer? You just get one of the family into drugs. Two or three. And it will be hell for them in this planet. Meron kang isa, dalawa na anak na sa droga. That family is dysfunctional. Now, if it is the father, the breadwinner, who is addicted or contaminated, he does not work anymore. He is thin, malnourished because they do not eat. Mabuti rin niya para walang rice fries eh. Putang ina niya. Hindi na, he does not go to work. He sits there in stupor and wait for the drugs to come. If he does not have any money, he would start to sell everything. Tanungin niyo niya may tinamaan. They start to lose things in their house. Then pati yung mga kutsin na pinagbibili. The family is dysfunctional already. Wala nang nagtatrabaho para magbili ng pagkain. Wala nang magbayad sa tuition. Wala nang pamasahe ang mga bata. And it is not a single family for one day. Itong durugista na ito, he was able to distribute and convert new ones to support his uh, habit. Then, bang sabi ka, if this guy can contaminate about 50 a month, then count how many are those who are peddlers or the merchants of death. And you have about, in one month, 1,000 one, 1, in this place alone, or in your barangay. Totally dysfunctional families. Multiply that by the years and think what will happen. Look at the environment. Tignan mo yung suicide rate. In Bacolod, in Dabao. At ang masakit sa akin, although you might say, ah, Pretended sentiment lang yan ni Duterte. Eh, mabuti kayo, kay mayaman kayo. Ako, galing sa mahirap. Hindi ko na sabihin mahirap ako ngayon. Medyo mahal nga itong t-shirt. Anong dugong ito? Binigay lang to. Unique lang lang ako. It's black and white. But sometimes I get to have this combination. Sigurado nga, binigay yan. Ah, ngayon ang pabay ito. Yun ay klo. Mura, tapos durable. Yun na mo, it's white or black. That's it. Ngayon, yung iba. Ilang libong Pilipina umaalis every year outside. The number now about 2 million used to be 1 million. Filipinos working outside. More than half of them are domestic helpers. I'm telling you, I've been there to fix a case for a Devovenia who was arrested for giving rosaries. So, naman kayo, pagka nandroon kayo, you obey. That's the problem, you start to mess up with the rules. You know, it starts to screw up there, and so ito nung punta. But I was, I was able to catch up with King Fad. He was a little bit, he was one of my Alzheimer's and all. Maybe it was very lucky for me to catch up with him. And he understood my plea. And he agreed. But the minister of that court there, sabi niya, you better talk to your... Uh, counterpart. One of the reasons why we were with uh, my speaker when we went there, sinabi niya, not all, remember, uh, 
lest I be misquoted, not all, but there are certain Arab tribes in the Arab country, different Arab, that if you are a slave working for the family, if you are bought from the slave markets of Africa, usually black, or you are a paid servant there, rape is always inevitable. So how many stories and stories do you hear? Are all of these incidents they reported? No. Why? Because they will have to go home. You start to complain, you lose the employment. So magbilin na lang sila sa mga mga pills dyan kung saan nila makuha. And they endure bestiality. They endure human degradation and the loss of human dignity. Titiisin yung loyan po tang ano. Dahil kailangan ano pera para ipadala dito. Papadala dito, tapos pagdating dito itong mga putang ino, gagunin yung tagan nila yan hanggang bumigay ang bata. Alam nila may pera na dumadating. Ngayon, itong mga animal na to alam nila may pera yan. Pag nahulog na yan, so yung new recruit, he will have to find a new recruit also to sustain his habit. That's how it spreads in society. Now tell me, yung iba pinapasok sa refrigerator, yung iba pinapatay. How many times have you read? Tell me the truth now. Look me in the eyes. Ilang Pilipino tumatalon sa bintana? What does that indicate? It happens almost every day. Filipina jumps. What does that show? It's desperation. Baka hindi na kaya talaga ng katawan. You know, baka hindi ninyo alam ha. Maglinis yan sa employer niya. The one who got her to, to work in that house. Then after that, she goes to the house of her daughter-in-law and cleans the house. And then he goes to another relative, maybe the sister of her. And she cleans the house. That is why ang uniform ang kanila. How many hours of sleep do you get? Three hours. What's the food? How's the food? It's hogwash. Hindi mo na kayo, mamayaman kayo, napunta naman kayo doon. Kaya ninyong magkain. Ako, sa totoo lang, ask anybody. Pati si, sige. Ako, nagabaon ng karne norte, pati tuyo. Paski doon sa labas, sa Papua New Guinea, yun ang pagkain ko araw-araw. Pinapaluto ko lang sa... I'm not giving to that yung mga disi sa ano. Jesus Maria, sir. Bakh! Wala naman, no, no specific country, but yun, hindi ko talaga kaya. Karni Norte, kasi sana yung, ano, the average family, Filipino, oh, walang pagkain. Ah, Karni Norte ka agad, sardina. Ayun ang pagkain ko. Not because I cannot afford the, itong mga, but because I just want to eat simple foods. Why? Because nasanay ang dila ko. Why? Because I have no money. No, I have money. I can eat at this night I can make a tour of five, six hotels. I, I can't afford it now. Pero credit card na, saan ang bag ko? So, kayong mga durugista, o may kilalang durugista, o galit sa akin kasi pinatay ko yung kaibigan ninyo, anak ninyo, putang ina, sila ang sabihan mo. If you want this killing, stop. 
if you want to live peacefully, if you are afraid of uh, a JK, there's only one simple thing that you have to do. Just drop it. And it will end tomorrow. I assure you. Uh, kung may mang patay pa ng police dyan, sila ang patayin ko. Just drop it. At saka yung, yung mga police, bantay kayo sa akin. Of late, kita mo ang namamatay, poro, opisyal. Major, uh, major, major problem ka. Um, ina mo, huwag mong bigyan ng bullshit na gano'n. Mindanao ito, hindi ito taga Manila. Huwag <laughs> mo akong gano'nin kasi... Well, more or less, gano'n ang warning. Kung marinig ito ng iba, sabihin ko lang naman na istorya ko lamang yan para pabilibin ko si Sir pati si Ma'am Cynthia. Istorya mo lang, maniwala pa na kayo. Pero gano'n na daw. You have been to the bow. I could see that well, most of you must have been there. Take it on that bow. You can walk. Do not fuck it up because I will. Do not spoil the day for the Filipino. Para wala tayong gulo. Ako wala ako ng ito. Ayan si ma'am, sila lahat. I tell you now, again and again, there is no document or documents involving money, public or private projects and everything. It does not reach my table, either in the office or in my house. It begins and starts with the cabinet member. Wala ako. All I receive is 2027. That's all. Wala na. Maghanap kayo ng dokumento, either in Congress, COA, Wala, may lahat kayong makita na approve or disapprove. Kanila yan. Ako, mga appointments, then policies. Seperti yung mga policies natin uh, with our bilateral and multilateral commitment. Hanggang dyan lang ako. Kaya kung magmura ako ng tao, pati yung ABS-CBN, ABS, pinuputang ina ako. Kasi wala talaga kayong makita sa akin. Pag alis ko, halungkot din mo yan. May siguro may makita ka ng Brian o Panty pero sa mga ano yan, stop. Hindi sa akin yan. Because I am celibate. Maski anong gawin mo? Sinong 73 dito? Believe ako sa iyo kung I will make you the deputy president of Wala na yan. Kaya kayo mami ang sabi maglakad-lakad. Huwag ka nang umuwi putang ina mo. Sige. <laughs> Wala na yan. Istorya na lang. Ako no more. Wala na talaga. Yan ang totoo. So siningit ko yung istorya about trust. Para mang, you will understand me. You say that I'm a killer? Yes, I am. For my country, I will kill you. For gain, personal. Too late to start it. Too late. So, yeah, I've been mayor also for the longest. 23 years ago, mayor of Saddam. I never lost an election. Dritso, dritso na ako hanggang. Hindi ko nga alam kung bakit nanalo ako dito. Frankly, except for si Mama and si Speaker, for maybe just for, for all time's sake. But I could only count about four or five politicians all over the country. Wala akong ni isang kagawad, barangay captain, wala. And yet, I won. And so I asked God, huwag kayo maniwala dyan sa magbuang ng obispo na 
I never said I do not believe in God. Kindly revisit my statement. I said, your God is stupid. My God has a lot of common sense. Those were the exact words. Kasi when you use religion as a platform to attack me, then do not be surprised. Sino man ang ano yung ko? Then the platform itself, which is really the Roman Catholic Church. At sabi ko, patayin mo yung mga obispo na yan. Kung sila mismo sa misa nila, saying a mass there, you know, I think it was Terlianes who was there, sabi ng pare, sana mamatay na ito si Duterte. Ko kayong mga pare, mga obispo, mga putang ina kayo, if you can say that to me, wish me the, to die in a mass, eh bakit ako hindi magkasalita? Di kayo rin. Tutar, sino man maniwala na magpunta kayo ng langit? You're dreaming? Ay, lahat tayo makita-kita sa impinot kabaklaan ninyo mga putang ina. 85% of them are homosexual. Alam ninyo yan. Yung ibang na iwan na 15, ayun, nagkakalat sa mundo. Uh, nabasa naman ninyo yung altar secrets, no? Hindi, hindi ako naka, I'm not, a, this is not a campaign for the, pero may, may percentage ako nito sa publisher, eh. Ito, uh, sabi niya mo, altar secrets. It is there. Pati yung orphanage nila, mga anak ng pare. Ito dito, si Bakane ang number one. And there's another one, if you can't, ano wala kasi yung akin. But it's just some, somewhere there, sa Chider in Davao. You know? The Popes. Plural, Popes. Yun, number seven. Is it totally from the Inquisition down to torture, down to... Lucrecia Borgia na nanganak siya ng ang anak siya ng Pope nung they had incest at yung incestuous child nila became eventually a Pope. That is the scandal which they cannot deny because that is history. Kaya kung gusto ninyo we can have a public debate in Luneta. Line up all of your uh orators and uh, public speakers na mahusay. Ako, magtagalog lang ako, pati Bisaya, iyawa mo. <laughs> That's a problem. I can only remember one president, Ramos, who advocated family planning. Pati ako. 110 million. Sabi ko lang ating Arab Buland eh. They sold it to the most multinationals. But it's now the practice all over the Philippines. It's cash crap. Taniman yan, i-harvest, ipagbili. Who gets the profit? The multinational, of course. Oh, anong umabot sa Pilipino? E di yung sweldo ng agricultural worker. Wala na tayo. At whatever is left, or residual, aside, kasi walang bagyo doon. So you can plant anything and it grows. Dito, tinatamaan ng bagyo. So, those are the dynamics that plays out in this country. Totoo man sinasabi ko. Mamate pa, if you, if you think that I'm lying, you can all pray in unison. Patayin mo na ako. Yan naman talaga ang gusto ko. Pahinga na rin. Kasi, alam mo, pagkatapos ko ng presidente, anong gawin ko? Hindi na makatangga. Hindi na ako makatangga. Kagawad. 
Yung uti, kung tanggapin ako dito, yung, ano na lang. So, Ma'am, baka may trabaho ko sa akin dyan. Wala na. So, by the time I am 73, 76, I'm done. What am I supposed to do? Maglabas ako? Talagang puputulin ang ulo ko sa mga putang in. <laughs> in PA, uh, drugista, karami kaya yan. Well, by the time gusto ko magsabi yung pare, mamatay sana, just pray for, uh, sabi ko, okay God, I accept that prophecy. Mamatay ako, mamatay ako. I like it. But bigyan mo lang ako ng kunting panahon para makumpleto ko lang yung trabaho mo. Para madagdagan yung population sa impyerno. Kasi medyo kulang na eh. <laughs> Talagang pulpog na yung iba. Wala na makuha sa satana. Ashes. Total, ang kasama ko doon. Pare, hold upper. Lang lahat lang at obispo ng mga bakla. Yes, sigurado 'yan. Kaya yung pinali, pinalitan nito. Itong pop ngayon. Itong pop ngayon progressive to. Ja, ako believe ako. Saludo talaga ako dito. Pero yung nauna, why was she? Well, but this another scandal brewing now. In, in, yeah, man. because of homosexuality. He was dancing all night in Vatican. Akil, alam ko yan kasi ako nung maliit pa, twice or thrice a week, nakaluhod ako dyan sa altar. Hmm, kaganoon pa. Magbaba lang yan ng kunti. Kaya yung nanay ko kung buhay pa yan, man, idemanda ko talaga sa child abuse. Kaya <laughs> nanay ko. Baski ano, mahawa ka, ano. Kaya yung sobrang... Magsabi, ah, total marami akong anak, patayin kita, leche ka. Pero kung isa lang, uh, medyo, kung marami kayo, uh, kaya yung, noon yung crucifix na, uh, but since my mother died, hindi na ako nabalik sa ancestor. Dinadaanan ko na lang, pero ayaw ko. Uh, talagang, mamas buhay mo rin. Pero, Minsan mag, mag nakaganoon yun si Jesus Cristo. Minsan mag, mag siguro na maawa sa niya. Anak. Na, narinig ko to sa anak. Pareho talaga ang suerte natin. <laughs> Sabi ko, Jesus, anak ko hindi, mama ko hindi man hudiyo. Ikaw, gi. Kapapan eh. Balik tayo sa... Uh, Sige, ako'y tawa dyan eh. I am glad to know that DOH, the DILG, the Vice Mayor's League of the Philippines and the Provincial Board Members League of the Philippines will work closely together for the effective management of this facility. Hindi ako nagbibiro, sir. Kailan? You study the man. Yan sa harap ninyo. Tignan ninyo ngayon sa... Look at lahat-lahat sila, politiko. Pati si Sir. Tiyo ako sino pinaka-mabait. Siyo yung hindi magnanakaw. At sino yung pagwala na ako. Sino sa kanila magsabi in public, putang ina, patayin mo yan. Sige daw? Ayan. All prim and proper yan eh. Pakunwari. Kasi kung takot ka mamatay o takot kang pumatay, huwag ka magpresidente. It's not for you. Tinan mo nangyari na naman. Kailan na nang lumabas? When I became president, then I demanded bato nilagay ko. Buksan mo lahat. So, what did we find out? 1.6 
si Santiago noon, 3 million, 1.6 million. Filipinos who are slaves to drugs, cold, shabu, and everything else. They are slaves because they are already in hotel and they need the monkey off his back. Kasi hindi mga kaganon, kakatingag kaganon ang katawan. Yan ang mga yan. That 1.6 is over the country selling shabu. How much do you think you need time to correct all of this? To arrest the aberration in our society. Yan ang tandaan. Ano yung kailangan, ano, ano, ano? Si Sir Mane, nag-prepare na talaga. Pundi siya, mayaman naman siya. Then he's reaching out to his fellow men. Kung mag-presidente siya, nandyan yung rehab. Tapos magpagawa ka na lang ng krematorium lang, sir. Ah, ah. Eh, improve mo lang. Magsugba ka lang sampo araw-araw. Maubos. This initiative is consistent with our efforts to eradicate the drug problem in the country. I therefore thank Senators Manny and Cynthia, their children, the entire CPAG Foundation and all communities involved in this endeavor of staying true to the commitment of leading our peoples towards more dignified and meaningful lives. Let me also welcome the latest addition to the lineup of the Vista Land and Landscapes, the Mela Hotel. Wala masyadong tao dito, no? no? Mabuti yung, medyo malayo mga maraming kubero naman. Wala kang makita, magpasok dito. Pwede na, pwede na tayo dito. Pag wala, si Mar, si Ma'am. Uh, si Hermani, okay lang yan. Ganun mo lang yan siya, ang favorito. Sige na. May malapit ka na. Let, let uh, without, Wala, natuloy ako. Huwag <laughs> uh, okay, magsigitawa dyan. <laughs> Let me also welcome the latest addition to the lineup, Vista Land and Landscape. As a Spanish-themed structure with more than a uh, hundred rooms, various dining halls, banquet halls, and uh, conferences room. Uh, ang... Pwede magtingin sa kwarto, sir. Uh, ah, ano hal ka? Ah, manen, ha? Wala. Wala dito yung... Sino mo daw, girlfriend ko ba? O sino? Ah, sino? Ay, yung asawa ko yun, girlfriend. Bigyan ko kayo ng hint. Nandito siya nakatira. Maganda siya. Medyo... Sino? May kalandian siya. Hindi naman siya mataas. Hindi naman siya ma... Maganda ang muka niya. Pero ang tarantada si Losa. Marami naman. Marami naman siya noon. Bakit ako ang ginagantihan? Ano na Without doubt, this hotel will generate employment and livelihood opportunities for the people of Las Pinias. 
and surrounding localities, as well as create a positive impact on the area's tourism industry. I thank again the Villar family for sharing their blessings to the Filipinos from all walks of life, especially those who need to reform the lives of those who have gone astray. I hope it could go a limit to help the addicts. The lives of those who have gone astray because of illegal drugs. Your partnership with the government in advancing the condition of our Kababayans is truly commendable. I pray to God. Yung, yung Diyos natin. Hindi ko matindihan. Gano'ng challenge sa gold. Yung East Ostia minsan, yung kuripot, yung mga siya, bahaw na. May amoy man itong putang. Pag gano'ng nasa kamay mo, you take it deep breath. Padre po, tang inang amoy na to. Naamoy ko rin ito kagabi. <laughs> Saan sa bar ka ba kagabi? Limutan mo maligo ang animal. I pray that your endeavors and advocates will continue to serve the needs of the Filipino people. To Senator Manny Villar, may you have more years to come and I hope that you will continue to inspire and help more Filipinos who also want to uplift their conditions and enjoy more comfortable and progressive lives. Again, happy birthday and uh, congratulations for all of you. I think it's shown in Ali Marzot. Uh, online, mayroon to. Um, dito sa last paragraph. And lo and behold, President, uh, the late Rodrigo Duterte, President, was all along right in his attacks against the church because they were valid and the truth. We stick with the truth. Thank you.